Britain has sent fighter jets to Finland and Sweden, where they've been taking part in joint training exercises. The Ministry of Defence in London said the deployment is part of an increased presence in the region. And meanwhile, in Ukraine, Russian missile and rocket strikes have been causing more widespread damage in towns and cities across eastern and southern regions of the country. Well, uh, let's get the latest now. We can talk to Dr Patrick Bury, who's a defence and security expert at the University of Bath and a former NATO analyst uh, and a former British Army officer as well. So thank you very much indeed for being with us, Patrick. Well, what do you make of this um, RAF deployment in Finland and Sweden? Is it a sort of show of strength against Vladimir Putin and against Russia? Good morning, Ben. Yeah, I think it's two things, really. One, one is symbolic in that um, it's, it's sort of putting some, uh, some weight behind those security agreements signed by um, Prime Minister Johnson, I think, in the last six weeks with Finland and Sweden. And this is the sort of the, the first step of that. So it's symbolic in that the UK is sending, I think, four typhoon fighters uh, and another two of the F-35, which are much more capable to conduct what, what they say is high intensity city war fighting training with the Swedes and the Finns. Um, and so, you know, the UK has a lot of experience of doing air policing. Uh, and I think this is in the Baltic region, you know, air, air patrol missions. And I think this is sort of the next step up to go, OK, right. Well, if the Russians did decide to have a go, we want to make sure that we can uh, operate with the Finns and the Swedes uh, as easily as possible. So I think the second part is that practical part, you know, that that interoperability, interoperability. How do you um, how how do you actually fly? What are your constraints? How do you? Uh, what are your logistics constraints? What are your bases like, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? And and how would we fight together? You know, how would we do our targeting? How would we do our joint mission planning, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? So I think it's got the symbolic element and also then this this practical element. Uh, and I suppose another message to the Kremlin: um, if you were thinking about invading any other countries in the region nearby, well, don't think about it. Yeah, I think there's definitely that going on. There's always messaging going on, isn't there, with, with sort of military deployments, etc. But um, I think one of the interesting things here is that the Swedes have the uh, the Gripen fighter and the, the Finns have the F-18 Hornet. And they're kind of like fourth generation fighters. And, and the Typhoons even are a little bit more advanced than them, like four and a half. But the technology in them is is, is 20 years old in some cases. Uh, and your viewers could probably think of it like a, like a car that sort of was around in the 2000s. Um, a decent car, you know, very capable, but again, technology is moving on, whereas the F-35 is stealth, uh, it's um, it's networked, you know. It's 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 linked into a lot of intelligence and and ISTAR, you know, what we call surveillance assets. So it's much more linked up in terms of the information environment, and it's the next level. It's it's it's, it's sort of a jump in the generation of fighters, it's a bit like a Tesla car today. You know, that's what it would be most top of the range, most um, most automated and 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 uh, yeah, and high spec aircraft. So I think also sending the F thirty five. It shows the Swedes and the Finns, look, this is what the, the capability of this aircraft is, is. The Finns have already, I think, put an order in for some of them. And the Swedes may be thinking about it because what really you want in NATO is everybody to be singing off the same song sheet with the same kit. And it can all talk to each other, especially platforms that are this advanced and, and networked and you know taking in a lot of information and giving it out to other sensors on the battlefield. So I think there's an element of that going on, too. All right. Uh, Dr. Patrick Bury, thank you very much indeed on, on that latest uh, joint training exercise with RAF fighter jets in Finland and Sweden. Thank you very much. Pleasure.